all right ladies and gentlemen dr vijay prabhakar that we fondly call dr vgp he has been spearheading the event of this magnitude that uh, you know he brought millions of people together and the recent curtain raiser that we all just witnessed so many brains came together so many passionate people came together and um, he's is the trailblazer the leader that we always look up to and um, vijay ji first of all hats off to you and uh, i i witnessed the curtain raiser for these two days and i heard people saying oh we have never seen this before and uh, people were saying thank you to dr vijay prabhakar for bringing all these people together under one roof and that was like a power house of so many visionaries sharing their thoughts and insights and uh, you made that possible and uh, the audience wo- was enlightened and uh, again the 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 path that you you showed to all of us through this curtain raiser uh, you know that is something that we have never seen before so i want to ask you how did this concept come up with how did you come up with this fantastic idea thank you so much prachi you've been so kind with your words but i'd like to say to god alone be the glory now and always all this was possible by this divine intervention yes it's been truly an inspiring moment for all of us and you know you have and your team from ana have also worked very hard behind the scenes not just from january 26th this is a very good question how did it all come about i think it's just because the passion of all the indian diaspora wanting to showcase the new india under a vibrant and dynamic global leader prime minister narendra modi to america there have been certain forces lately who have trying to paint india in different colors and especially in the mainstream media you know a school district so and called me and said we read global eye we see all this fascinating things happening in india unbelievable transformation but at yet there's a whispering groundswell moment which says calling india and other names i so i told him sir what you do he said do a show and tell as you all are not a not for profit community organization a community initiative to show what new india is all about to us mainstream americans and that's how this vision came and i think we thought about it thought it's an easy task but i agree with you all of us put together our chairman dr ajit pant i can name them one by one uh, our sec director general kathy thorak uh, the ganapati a chief financial officer the fierce passionate lincoln fellow republican woman dr vasavi chakka i can go on naming people shri gursami our additional secretary general vinita gulbani additional director general the folks in india have all put immense hard work dedication and they followed the call it's not a one man show or one vision it's a team effort of committed indian diaspora you know it's easy the chief secretaries of karnataka and uh, the industry secretary of uttar pradesh and all have said it's easy for the indian diaspora to call a celebrity sell tickets and say we celebrated india's 75th but to do a show of this magnitude and today was the curtain raiser really gave us a great encourage god's guidance the overwhelming support from the indian diaspora and from indians in india made this today a reality and i want to thank the almighty and the council general of india we'd like to say mr Ka- council general of india mr amit kumar made us bring this expo to this level by his constant interaction with us asking for timelines deadlines and it brought out the best in all of us there's been a lot of people who have put this together the best is yet to come prachi absolutely absolutely so you know the way you just ended your thought that's where i want to start with if the curtain raiser is like this we all are wondering how impactful the expo itself is going to be what are we looking forward to and you know what is in store for all of us at the expo 
Prachi, it's people like you who made this curtain raiser a sparkling, spectacular success. We did, when we embarked on it, we didn't expect to see over 2,000 people in the two days overflowing. You know, our hearts overfilled. This morning, after last night's stupendous success, we received a call from Indian elected officials across saying this was one of the greatest things the Indian diaspora has done and in ever in North America and they want to support us fully and India is geared to celebrate with us at this occasion on December 15th, 16th and 17th. I repeat, it's the whole Indian diaspora. We had the leaders yesterday with us from every organization. We had API, IMA, AHOA, the Asian American Hotelers Association. We had the FIA Chicago in 1980. We had the FIA Chicago of Sunil Shah Ji and everybody with us. I mean, it was, we had the Indian American Business Coalition headed by, our, we had the Midwest US uh, business Co Chamber of Commerce headed by Dr. Ajit Pant. We had such several luminaries. But despite the hard work and the challenges, we have to credit the divine guidance which made this happen. There were so many of us involved. I, I won't be able to give credit to, I won't be able to name a few because I feel that will be left out. But again, as I repeat, the best is yet to come. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Prabhakar, um, so when, when we were talking about Expo, we were also discussing the state pavilions. Each and every state in India has a, spe a specialty of its own. And the emphasis that is being put on and the opportunity that has, are being given to each state in coming forward and representing uh, itself on a global platform like this. Like for example, I'm from Haryana, specializing in micro, small and medium enterprises. And we have never seen an opportunity coming from an organization like this. Uh, to showcase itself on a global platform and uh, you guys came up with this idea of actually letting the state show what they specialize in and how uh, you know how is that coming along and how uh, you know how did you come up with that fantastic idea <laughs> Prachi again I want to tell you the different states of India you this evening you witnessed a phenomenal states of India parade put together by Neelam Sabu one of our additional directors which brought alive the 28 states in a very poignant fashion never seen in America and you were one of them representing Haryana you're right MSMEs in Haryana we had interactions with over 15 different chief ministers and the states they were excited to show and tell about the product and this expo which we're planning is to focus on MSMEs in India giving them an opportunity to interact with the American MSCs and also the tribal you know we have the northeastern states and also the tribals from Chhattisgarh state to come in D tribals has been working our whole awards whatever we have done with D tribals now you brought a very good question while I was in India last month one of the luminaries I would like to say the Honorable Union Minister uh, for Home and Cooperation Amit Shah Ji had requested us to honor different states for the best performance so that is also in the offing we are also having the top 10 crown jewels of India which are going to be announced uh, like ONGC like Adani group GMR group Vizag steel plant and even Gandhi Nagar milk dairy cooperative union which is a women's union which even the milk producers the dairy farmers are women the executives are women and we have now we have also looked at the best performing capital city so there's a lot of excitement to come and this is going to be like we always said the most impactful event of the year the best is yet to come December 14th 15th and 16th Prachi and um, Vijayji, these uh, viewers that are watching us in millions of homes right now, just because of the Global Eye, uh, tell us about Global Eye and our audience is looking forward to what is next, uh, especially when we talk about Global Eye. Uh, of millions of 
viewers joining us every day just because of the work that Global High has done, and I myself has the on uh, no has always had the honor of being one of the anchors for Global Eye. What uh, you know? What are the updates from the Global Eye office? Great, Prachi. As you are the official spokesperson for the Global Eye, I want to tell you what's happening today. You know, usually we go after the American companies to come and invest in India. Today, because the Global Eye, which is the digital magazine which reaches, and tonight I was just told we are reaching 65 million subscribers in India and United States, and there are 20 million people waiting to be added on. And it's a, it's a digital news magazine in the US which reaches six different cities, three in India and three in US. We are having Indian companies coming to America to invest in the inner cities of Chicago to start with in New York, which has never happened today. That's because of the brilliance of the dynamic global leader, Dr. Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister. He has reversed the trend. That's what we're talking about, New India Prachi. And that's what Global Eye is trying to portray. We no longer want American companies to come and invest in India. Indian companies are coming to the Global Eye GSA India identified to invest in the seventh congressional district in the inner cities of Chicago which needs job creation today that's what the global eye which was launched in 2019 by honorable Amit Shah G has now having a staggering 65 million viewers it is the most largest Indian US monthly and we are trying to cope and the whole trend is reversed and uh, it's like people like you the media who have really brought the Indian Americans in North America to the forefront. You know, you have been at every event I can think of which has been happening in Midwest as the anchor. And I think the people in America should know and the people in India that we have Indian American giants. The Indian corporations are enriched to come and invest in USA today to create jobs in the inner cities of Chicago, in Naperville for instance, in Maywood, in Bellwood, in Raja Krishnamurti's district in Chamburg. The shoe is on the other foot. Thanks to Prime Minister Narendra. Prime Minister Narendra Bhai Modi, thank you. Yes, he has made a big difference in our lives. He has strengthened Indo and US relationship. It's gone to another level. And that's what the Global Eye, the digital magazine, is, is striving to do. And I'm so pleased. It's been four years. We have done this. We couldn't have done it without each one of our subscribers who have supported us, each one of the partners in this expo who have been with us. And there is much more to reach out to before December 15th and 16th. The best is yet to come, Prachi. Yes, definitely. So this was just a glimpse of what is going to happen in December and uh, uh, you know it's kind of like an extravaganza not just the cultural one but economic cultural health and, you know what the you think of a topic you think of a subject matter and there is going to be a specialized focus at the expo in December so many brains coming together and this wonderful team has been working days and night and uh, uh, all and of course youth women empowerment conclave that we just had people had goosebumps when they were attending all these uh, the, the sessions and um, Vijayji these million um, millions of uh, viewers that you're watching we, we want you to please uh, ask your fans and your followers to you know join us <laughs> thank you Prachi I just noticed that both of us are in pink <laughs> but what made me bring me to today we honored the top 18 under 18 you Asian Indian American youth across America and this whole focus is on today's generation today's leaders are the youth not tomorrow's we are ancient history there are people like your son Pranab who I'm a great fan of I just had a little dialogue with him earlier today and it's fascinating to see this 11 year old kid so confidently speaking that shows the future of our nation in India and US are in great hands today if you had been at the youth conclave it brought the parents to tears 
and they came so many of them came and said this has never been done in the history of America thank you and, and, and this is a moment we've created a platform for the youth to take it and forge ahead today we made history in the curtain raiser like you likely said the best is yet to come Dr. VGP, the event of this magnitude is not possible without the brilliance of the dream team that you know that you have behind you working days and nights 24/7 and we would like to more about uh, those wonderful people that have made this curtain raiser possible and that are going to make the huge um, impact with the the coming up uh, the coming uh, expo. Prachi you are right we are very fortunate to have the best dream team here in the Global IJSA Expo we have our very vibrant chairman Dr Ajit Pant who has brought his years of wisdom our chief financial officer Mr Ganapati my co-founders Dr Vasavi Chakka uh, who I earlier said is a fierce passionate woman republican leader who walks the talk and the one you can resourcefully lead on she is a one woman brigade reminds me of rani jansi bai then i have also with uh, with us mane lingaya who lingered around with us who was the lieutenant governor of amec who was one of the co-founders yes he was up he was down but today he is with us and hopefully he'll be with us till the end we have this what i would say a one of the very dedicated passionate hard working individual anika dubey who works around the clock and who also makes sure that others work uh, we have sh the very uh, dedicated shri gursami who has put together a wonderful cultural program we have sita bala who has put a heart and soul into the youth environment we have neelam sabu who did a fantastic showcase of india and a communication director we have mandar pitre who is not only a dol tasha founder but mandar pitre has been advisor to the chairman dr ajit pant and in his role has been very formidable we have had some of our chandni duvuri you saw the stage deco she brings her own charm to the whole occasion vinita, vinita gulbani she is there every stop of the way yeah. i would like to say uh, she is the mother teresa of new india she really sincerely believes vinita gulbani for everyone takes care of every need of us and you know how can we not forget the air india eternal maharani kathy thorak she is there like every air india who heroes is welcoming us charming us bringing hot chai and pakodas and her in and her poignant approach to how to get things done she's always a backer prachi she says don't worry i'll get this done don't worry we have mr jerome adistam who's in charge of the food his patience is endurance we had anupma malhotra who did the museum of mantras i won't forget mustafa ajmeri the national executive director who was with us from day 1 rashana Shah from Atlanta, Suga Mehta from New York, Hitan Bhutia from Tampa, Florida, Namrata Sharma from Raleigh, North Carolina, we have Ravi Karkara from the Global Champion of Sustainability from New York. I can go on and on. We had Ritu Ja from San Francisco. This was a great team effort from across America, which broke barriers, which created history, and yet the best is yet to come. Uh, the Mr. Tom Hakim from Michigan who dazzled the audience. There was also people we had great support from americans like dr twin green the global ambassador the governor of the amec dr zonobia sowal was with us so please join us in december you do not want to miss this event and uh, we would be here presenting you the best of the best that is yet to come right dr vgp absolutely for exhibitors from india and america to showcase for delegates who want to participate and speakers do visit our website which is displayed right now on the screen because this is an incredible opportunity we are going to have state delegations from india we're going to guy highly elected officials from united states participate it's go the curtain raiser was free for all because it was a curtain raiser prachi but this is going to be a most exclusive gathering the most impactful event of the year for those who want to celebrate india and us relationship and share our pride
so do not wait go to the website look out for more information and make sure you participate in whatever a role and capacity we we welcome everyone and we want to do it together and forge ahead together and make this a one of its kind event that has never happened before under uh, the genius of uh, dr vijay prabhakar and we'll just follow his footsteps and uh, we'll make sure that that this event become you know it it uh, Uh, gets engraved in the history that this was something that was never done before and was started by this visionary standing uh, sitting right next to me dr vjp thank you sir thank you so much thank you so much uh, prachi ji i would like to thank to god alone for to give him all the glory now and forever and thank you so much and each one of you viewers without you yes together we can thank you yes. say india at 75 expo at sheridan on december 15th 16th and 17th i would like to personally invite all of you to be here to enjoy what is made in india but what is made for the world made in india made for the world please mark your calendar this has been organized by global eye under the visionary leadership of dr vgp so all of you please join us i'm inviting all of you to come in this December when we will be having our most impactful event keep the dates with you save them made in india made for the world we welcome you all and i want to invite you everyone you your fam everybody to come out to learn about the new india you will not want to miss we invite you all to participate and be a part of this historic event celebrating india to celebrate the glory of 75 years of independence of great nation called bharat the india has arrived we want to discuss india's leadership position in different forums see you soon thank you and look forward to seeing you in december december 15th 16th and 17th made in india made for the world yes together we can.